when one thinks of wine, Italy, France, Sp Spain, and even Australia come to mind. But thanks to surging vintage consumption, China may soon be joining that list. Grace ba Brown reports from Beijing. In this vineyard north of Beijing, thousands of vines are bearing new fruit and new admirers. The International Grape Exhibition Center was set up this year. It offers tours to educate visitors about the history and culture of grape growing. We receive a wide range of tourists from eight years old to the elderly. The center grows more than a thousand types of grapes from more than 40 countries. In 2013, China drank 1.9 billion bottles of red wine. That's up 136 percent from 2008. In recent years, the government's frugality campaign has hit the sales of expensive wines in China. But while fewer officials may be buying it, an interest in wine among ordinary Chinese is growing. Professor Ma, a wine researcher and judge, says the region is ripe for growing. The Yanqing compared with other part of Beijing, the rainfall is much less, and it has a cool climate. In general, I would say it's a fit for grape growing, and there's a possibility to make good wines. But demand is there. Retailers say sales of lower-priced wines are rising fast, and that Chinese wines are too. You know, the wine market has changed completely in the last couple of uh, years, or in the last two years, actually. And now, really, the, the young people are more and more interested to learn about wine. The younger generation, up to 35, they buy around, in average, around 60, 70 RMB wines. China is already the fifth biggest wine producer in the world. The Chinese wine are hardly exported. 98% is consumed in China, so Chinese people do drink a lot of wine. While pollution is a concern in China, Experts say vineyards are safer in areas like this, away from heavy industry. And as the country's thirst for wine grows, it's likely much more will be made there. Grace Brown, CCTV, Beijing.